I'll be jumping into this uh, web page because we'll be uh, using some information from there. One thing that I want to show you here is like the next three tabs. This tab is like when we expand this a bit further, it's the urinal average. It's basically showing you how a typical day looks like in Madrid. And like, it's basically, there are five different things here, as you see, like global horizontal radiation, diffuse horizontal radiation, track normal radiation, wet bulb temperature, dry bulb temperature. Like wet bulb temperature and dry, dry bulb temperature is the temperature that we uh, actually uh, use daily. It basically talks about the temperature. Wet bulb temperature is how you measure the temperature with the same device, but adding uh, like a, it's it's the, the the bulb part of it is wet, okay. And if you click X here, you don't see the things that you don't want to see. Obviously, you can click here and then export this as well. And if you hover over, you are seeing the like the dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, global horizontal radiation diffuse horizontal radiation and everything is visible if you come over to here you can create a psychromatic psychrometric chart and you can again use the information here what psychrometric chart is basically uh it's kind of a graph that shows uh humidity uh, that shows the relationship between humidity and dry bulb temperature if you click here you see information related to that as well and it's showing you the hours here you can change that too if you want to and the last but not least oh in the meantime you can always go back to here climate studio learn documentation and you can create a new tab workflows site analysis and like let's say psychrometric chart psychrometric chart tab shows the frequency of weather conditions by temperature and humidity uh it's basically craft that i don't really know how it works or what it's being used for but if you always or if you need more information you can always come over here Our hourly heat map if i come over to hourly heat map in our tab what we see here is like it starts with dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature relative humidity wind speed like a lot of information rain UTCI, heat index, like everything, okay? And you can ch change information, days, you can take out the hours, you can take out, you can filter to, to, to wind speed, relative humidity, UTCI, use UTCI instead of dry bulb temperature, you can change this to dry bulb temperature, and it only shows between 15 and 41 celsius or between 15 to 28 celsius for the utci and you can do the same thing for the dry bulb temperature and whenever come whenever you come on to this part this portion you see july 16 uh 2 40 pm it says dry bulb temperature is 35.6 centigrade celsius and so and so forth so with this being said i am actually concluding this part and always see anything that you see here but before we finish anything you see here can be changed you can put another kind of a color here false color you can say above range if you want to show some color above like let's say 40 or below 40 stuff like that you can change that as well uh, maybe we can do a test here like let's grab this dry bulb temperature click here a ball range let's say uh, if you want to have like i don't know blue or a ball range color below range let's say white and we click OK and you see if it's above 40 you do that if you if you say above 30 you do that if you say below zero you add 
like white and stuff like that you can always customize these kind of things you can export them and when you change this obviously the Bajan or the minimum and maximum obviously is changed as well so uh, with this being said I think it's a good time to conclude the, this part of the tutorial you can check these kind of information in the site analysis and you can always refer back to the web page of Climate Studio so stay tuned for the next video